All right, so welcome back to the civil FE exam review. Today in this video, we are continuing our review in structural engineering, and we're going to be looking specifically at the design of reinforced concrete components. Now, this is the last section of the structural engineering review. So if you've missed any videos prior to um, subject H, which is design of reinforced concrete components, make sure you check out those videos. We literally go from A through H um, and I go through a lot of, you know, the challenging and tough concepts that they are going to give you on your FE exam. All right. So let's look at number one have some practice problems for you all. So let's, let's check them out now. All right, so number one says, the comprehensive st strength of concrete is 6,000 PSI. What is the ratio of rectangular stress block A to depth to neutral axis C? What the heck is that? What did I just read? <laughs> All right, so let's start. Anytime I read something like that, I always, or anytime I get any type of problem, I just typically write out what I'm given. So I am given the uh, compressive strength of concrete. All right, so compressive strength. Okay. It's asking me to find the ratio of rectangular stress block A to neutral axis. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to search ratio of depth, a ratio of, it says what is the ratio of rectangular stress block? Let's look up rectangular stress block. I don't, I don't know. Sounds weird to me. Stress block. Okay, two things come up. All right. You got the depth of, okay, so re design of reinforced concrete components comes up, which lets me know um, probably somewhat in the right area. All right, A is equal to the depth of equivalent rectangular stress block, and then B1 is equal to the ratio of, of, of the ratio of depth of rectangular stress block A to depth to neutral axis. Yeah, so that looks like what I'm looking for. So this B1 component. So I'm trying to find this B1 component. Okay. So that's the ratio. Okay, so all right, I'm given the compressive strength. I'm just looking at this chart. What's F prime of C? Assuming that's compressive strength. They're not going to tell me what F prime of C is, or did I miss it? Aha, didn't fool me. F prime of C is compressive strength of concrete in PSI. Okay, so they give us that, all right. So now, okay, so if I get, uh, if I have my, if my rectangular stress, or if, if my uh, concrete compressive strength of concrete is 6,000 PSI, right? Then what this chart is saying that I can get my B1 by knowing what my compressive strength is. So compressive strength is, so I would just ask myself, okay, is 6,000, 
in between 2,500 and 4,000? No, so I know it's not 0.85. Okay. Is my compressive strength between 4,000 and 8,000? Yes, it's 6,000. So I know I need to use this formula. All right, so this is the formula I need to get this factor. 0 0.85 minus 0 0.05 times F prime of C, which is 6,000 minus 4,000 all over 1,000. Okay. And when I plug and chug that, I get so B1 is equal to, I get my B1 equals a 0 0.75, 0.75 RC. Okay, so we took the little bit of information we had, did some digging, used what we had, found what the variable meant, and then began to solve. Sometimes you have to take the information that you're given, whatever, crap they throw at you and just read through and methodically go through and say, okay, what information was I given? What am I trying to find? You're trying to find the ratio of depth of rectangular stress block A to depth to neutral axis C. That is word for word what this is. But we had to get to it first and do some do some digging. Hey everybody. I know I didn't take time to formally introduce myself at the beginning, so I did want to let you know who I am and how I can best serve you as you're studying for your civil FE exam. So my name is James Huntley, and I am a civil engineer who has helped hundreds of individuals pass and dominate their civil FE exam. Now, I know this test is tough, and as you're going through material, you may be saying, I don't remember learning this stuff or gosh, these variables are so confusing or you just feel like you're really, really busy and there's so much material that you need to go through that it's a bit overwhelming. So I did want to let you know that I do help and work with individuals one on one to ensure that they pass their civil FE exam. And I've had individuals that have worked with me for 10 weeks, and that's the longest that it has been. And I've had individuals that have worked with me for two weeks. And we went back to back, day after day after day, hours on hours on hours, putting in the work, um, working together to ensure that they went ahead and passed, right? And this exam is so important because I know that you want to make more money. Um, I know that you want to, you know, get some promotions and be able to further your career and have your PE. So definitely want to open and extend a hand out. Want to be able to save you time, right? Because I know some people that watch my videos, you may have been watching my videos for six, nine even 12 months and you still haven't passed your civil FE exam and that is the one thing that's keeping you from making more income more impact and furthering your career so it's definitely costing you um, money resources everything so looking to create more success stories um, I am looking to work with individuals one-on-one -on -one. I want to hop on zoom with you I want you to share what you're doing as you're solving these problems so i can spot out what you may be struggling with and open your eyes so that you're not going into this test completely blind now for some of you you may have failed a test once twice had some people fail five times um, or you may be wanting to take this test initially and you just want to make sure that you pass it up front so do have one-on-one -on -one services. I also have some uh, do-it-yourself uh, courses that if you're like, no, I got this, I got it all on my own, I know everything, or I, I'm going to take the time to study everything, I do have some resources and materials 
to be able to help you in that way. But my biggest fear is that you're investing in something, uh, these programs or these courses, and you know, you're not uh, getting back or having proper feedback to help you and to push you forward. You're just giving a bunch of information and no one's sharing with you what you may be actually struggling with or what's keeping you from passing your FE exam. So looking to create a ton of success stories. So feel free um, down in the description box below. I have a ton of resources, including one-on-one -on -one coaching. Let's hop on a call. Uh, it's no cost to you as far as, you know, us talking through your goals and what you're trying to do um, and kind of getting a feel for where you're at. Um, so have some programs where I can work with you one on one. And there's also some do it yourself courses, practice exams, study guides, resources, free material, all of that down in the description box below. So feel free to check out that stuff. If you like the video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. This is what I do. Um, we want to get you to the next phase of your civil engineering career. Um, and leave a comment if you had any questions about um, what I went through, the information that I covered. Um, and feel free to um, definitely schedule a call with me and I'm looking forward to creating more success stories. So be sure to check out this next video.